Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about those twinkling stars? Some nights you may see faint, hazy patches of light. These are nebulae, giant clouds of gas and dust floating in space. They are like cosmic clouds, much larger than our sun. Join me on a journey to explore these amazing wonders. With powerful telescopes, we can see these nebulae much more clearly. Telescopes show us amazing details, vivid colors, and intricate patterns. Scientists study these nebulae to understand how stars and planets are formed. The size of these nebulae is enormous, and they can be hundreds of times larger than the sun. In our own galaxy, the Milky Way, there are many of these magnificent nebulae. Let's continue our journey through the Milky Way, discovering more of these cosmic wonders. And eventually, we will return to beautiful Earth, marveling at the grandeur and vastness of the universe. Imagine a huge cloud of dust and gas, much larger than anything on Earth. This cloud is not just a random collection, but a complex mixture of elements floating in the vastness of space. These clouds are spread all over space. These clouds can be very large and contain vast amounts of material. Sometimes something happens to disturb these clouds. This disturbance could be the result of a major cosmic event, such as a star exploding or another star passing close by. It could be an exploding star or even just the gravity of passing stars. These cosmic events generate shock waves that affect the gas clouds. This disturbance causes the cloud to clump together. The molecules in the cloud begin to collide and merge, creating larger clumps. These clumps grow larger and larger, eventually forming nebulae. These nebulae are made up of different atoms of these gas clumps. These young stars light up the nebulae from within, making them glow brightly. Nebulae are also some of the most beautiful sights in the universe, glowing with bright colors and showing the beauty of the vastness of space. Famous examples of nebulae, the Orion Nebula, one of the most famous and most photographed nebulae. The Crab Nebula, the remains of a supernova that exploded in 1054 AD. Eagle Nebula, contains the pillars of creation, which are huge columns of gas and dust between star clusters. Nebulae are some of the most beautiful and strangest phenomena we can see in the universe. Nebulae are huge clouds of gas and dust that extend across vast distances in space. They are mostly made up of hydrogen and helium, in addition to heavier elements formed by dead stars. Types of nebulae. Emission nebulae. They emit light due to the high energy of hot new stars. This type of nebula is often colored due to the different ionization of the gases. Reflection, nebulae. They reflect the light of nearby stars instead of emitting it. These nebulae appear blue because dust reflects blue light more effectively than other colors. Dark nebulae. They contain dense dust particles that prevent light from stars and backgrounds from passing through, making them appear as shadows in the sky.
In space, there are many clusters of gas and dust atoms, and there is a nebula that can be seen at night in the sky with a small telescope located in the constellation of Orion or the Hunter. One of the most famous nebulae in the sky for astronomy enthusiasts is the Orion Nebula. It does not emit light itself, but rather reflects the light of nearby stars on its atoms, so we see it from Earth. There are three stars passing through the middle of the Orion constellation called the Orion's Belt. Below them are three other stars hanging in a single row called the Hunter's Sword or Hunter's Dagger. In fact, the middle star in this sword is not a star, but a nebula called the Orion Nebula. The motion of nebula is complex but interesting to study. This motion depends on gravity and the different masses in the galaxy. Here are some important points. Nebulae move within the galaxy due to the gravitational force of stars, planets, and neighboring galaxies. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is moving slowly through the universe, causing the nebulae to move within it. Nebulae often contain active star-forming regions, and these activities lead to dynamic changes in the shape and motion of the nebulae. Supernova explosions lead to the formation of new nebulae, which push gas and dust very quickly. Nebulae reflect a dynamic environment full of movement and change making them an interesting subject for studying stellar and galactic evolution. In 1774 AD, the astronomer William Herschel made a detailed study of the stars and found that space contained many nebulae, most of which were large. He was able to find bright stars in some of them. And then he began to wonder whether they were all star clusters and not gas clouds. It was not until about a hundred years later that astronomers were able to determine the reality of gas nebulae. However, they did not do this by looking at them with a telescope, but rather by revealing the nature of their spectra by analyzing their light with a spectroscope. Thanks for watching. And if you are a fan of the skies in heaven, leave a like for the video. Goodbye.